is up beautiful people happy monday how is everyone we are in middle of april right now it's been a hot minute since i've done a monday am musings i've actually done them but for whatever reason youtube does not like me when i upload my videos they constantly fail so i'm hoping this one will work i uh, tried to prepare as much as i could i wrote my description and all that in a notes app so that i could just copy paste and hopefully it'll upload today i'm hoping i'm hoping anyhow how are you guys just did a fresh twist yesterday fresh twist out with up north naturals my hair is looking so nice it looks a lot shorter than normal because when I first do a wash day, my hair has shrunken, and of course that means it's healthy. Um, and by the third, fourth day, my hair is like out to here because it will have stretched out a lot. So anyways, I'm just loving the funky, kinky curls as usual. So what is up, what is up? Oh my God, it was such a busy week. I participated and uh, went to the home and garden show here in Winnipeg. Lots of huge names in the in the do-it-yourself arena were here. Brian and Sarah Baumler, Tiffany Pratt was here, Carson Arthur was here. It was crazy and very busy. And some of the things, oh, there's the sun again. Some of the things that were on display were phenomenal. And I had my own little thing on display. I participated in the Upcycle Challenge. So the Upcycle Challenge, there was five influencers in Winnipeg who were given the task to come up with a project based on an item they had to get from Habitat for Humanity Restore and um, turn it into something that folks could plant their herbs and veggies in. So it was to go green and give back at the same time. It was awesome. I'm so proud of my little creation. Um, and it also used uh, Rust-Oleum Canada paints as well. So I love volunteering my time for stuff like that and also to kind of challenge myself because I'm not a crafty kind of gal at all. <laughs> I'm a techie, I'm, you know, nerdy techie that way, but when it comes to creative as in arts and crafts and that type of stuff, I'm not, not that great. So I really was excited to participate in this challenge and it went over really well and it was so nice to see it on display with the, uh, with the veggies in it it was it was awesome so I'm pretty happy pretty happy anywho um that was that what else of course still doing my orange theory fitness all the time because I live for my OTF community I'm about that OTF life they're so amazing there the trainers the staff everyone the community everyone is such a close-knit community always cheering each other on it's not pretentious whatsoever and you get one heck of a workout in an hour so I go three times a week hubby and I go three times a week sometimes less of course because things you know creep up and whatnot um, sometimes more if we can so our, our base is uh, minimum three weeks but uh, three weeks three times a week and it's amazing I love it there so one of the things I've been tracking is how long we get about 28, 29 minutes on the treadmill. So there's a variety of exercises um, as it relates to going uphill, right? So those are strength days, power days. Then there's endurance days where you're literally running nonstop. And I've really challenged myself again to make sure that I'm running nonstop, have active and, and active recovery as often as possible versus walking recovery. Uh, my all outs are now really high. I'm really excited for that. And I'm up to 2.5 miles, I guess, during that time. I've been racking that up. So for me, that's almost 5K. And I would like to run in my very first 5K. So I'm going to be doing that, folks, on Mother's Day. I'm really excited uh, to run with my daughter. And it's the Run for Women with uh, Shoppers Drug Mart and it's close to home it's literally kind of island lakes royal wood area and i'm really excited to do this because i've never been a runner per se i'm in high school i was the sprinter kind of gal i was never a runner a uh, long distance runner but um all right i guess we could call me a jogger really 
but I'm excited to just actually all out just do a run for, to do a run and it's fun and it's for a great cause all of the proceeds go to the mood disorders uh, Association of Canada and of course that's helping with mental illness depression anxiety and stuff as it relates to women it's not just women running it's also men and and uh, anyone who wants to run in the run can do it there's a 5k and a 10k so typically of course every year I participate in the CIBC run for the cure but we never run because we always have the kids so we typically walk that 5k um, so this this particular event coming up Mother's Day I'm going to run so I hope I see some folks to cheer me on <laughs> we'll see how I do we'll see how I do I don't know if I'll be able to, to run the whole way but I'm at least going to try it's been I think I've been prepping myself uh, enough with with my endurance at Orange Theory and also it's getting nicer outside so I can go for some quick runs here and there just to see how I do so that's that um, and this weekend was beautiful speaking of weather we went to get haircuts the guys went to go get haircuts my husband and my son and um, sorry about the sun blast here guys the we went for a walk down Broadway because my hubby went to Hunter and Gun for his fabulous haircut he looks so delicious by the way anywho <laughs> so we went walking down Broadway and I decided to take the kids on Saturday just uh, the kids to the legislature and we went there and walked up and down on the grounds and then inside the building and I forgot how majestic and beautiful that building really is and my son did some fossil hunting because a lot of the stones etc used to make that building have fossils and so he had a great time looking for fossils while we waited for his dad to uh, finish his haircut so it was it was wonderful it was a really really good time and I forget how awesome it is to live like a tourist in your own city you know so what's coming up uh, Easter weekend coming up folks long weekend good time to spend time with family of course and I believe um, there's a variety of, of different Easter brunches and, and whatnot around the city. Of course, there's many services you can partake in for those of you that are faith-based. Lots happening in the city this Easter weekend and usually a good, good turn for the weather as well. Um, Friday night, I'll be participating in the Winnipeg Nightlife Awards. I will be presenting an award this year. I'm so excited to do that. I'm honored actually. So. If any of you are heading to the Winnipeg Nightlife Awards, I will see you there. There is best chef, best restaurant, best live venue, best entertainment, best everything in Winnipeg, literally. They do need a best blogger category though, just saying. Just saying. <laughs> just bugging. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing that Friday night. Um, and of course, you know, the weather is changing, so things are happening. I'm kind of in the gardening mode right now, getting ready to plant some things inside the house and uh, get them ready for, for springtime viewing in the backyard. So it's, it's, uh, it's feeling good, folks, feeling good. We won't talk about work because you guys all know where I work and it's been a little bit of a gong show. So we're just gonna leave that alone, that topic and wait. <laughs> Um, my little man is turning five though. So Earth Day is what? Next weekend, the 22nd. And he's going, well not this weekend, next weekend, the following weekend. And he's going to be five. My little man's going to be five. But you know what else is going to be five? My blog. Peg City Lovely turns five July 2017. So what should I do? My blog anniversary is coming up and I need your help time to get into work I need your help folks what do I do for my five-year blog anniversary I think I need to do something special I think it's a milestone that I definitely want to to share and I need some ideas so if anyone has some ideas for me let me know okay so I'm in the parkade now I'm at work time to get some other stuff done and um, get this day started. Hopefully no more craziness, even though we know there will be. Yep. I hope you all have a wonderful week, fabulous week. Have a wonderful Easter weekend. I really hope this 
damn video posts to <laughs> YouTube. Um, but take care of each other. Be good to each other. And of course, please holler at me, folks. I love to hear from people. I love to chat with you. I love to hear what's going on. Please share what's happening and let's chat, shall we? Yes, and don't forget, if you have an upcoming event, please be sure to put it on my events page. Top right-hand corner of the blog, pegcitylovely.com. Submit an event and put it out there and I'll be sure to share it for you. Okay, guys, have a great week. Bye!